And Dallas police have issued an arrest warrant for Chiefs receiver Rashi Rice and another driver accused of causing a chain reaction crash. They're now facing eight felony counts, each related to the crash that left four people injured. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman has the latest. Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rashi Rice waking up a wanted man, criminally charged for his involvement in that Dallas highway crash that left four people injured. The impact was crazy. We could have flew out. The Dallas Police Department issuing arrest warrants Wednesday to both Rice, who they say was driving the Lamborghini, and 21-year-old Theodore Knox, allegedly behind the wheel of the Corvette. Police say the vehicles caused a chain reaction collision involving four other vehicles. Kayla Quinn had her four-year-old son in the back seat of that silver car, which was totaled. It was very traumatic. Authorities say the occupants of the Lamborghini and the Corvette then ran from the scene without stopping to determine if anyone needed medical help or providing their information. They can allegedly be seen in this photo obtained by TMZ Sports walking down the highway away from the crash before authorities arrived. Both Rice and Knox now face one count of aggravated assault, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, and six counts of collision involving bodily injury. Rice posting on Instagram last week, I take full responsibility for my part in this matter and will continue to cooperate with the necessary authorities. I sincerely apologize to everyone impacted in Saturday's accident. The NFL telling ABC News they continue to monitor developments in the matter. Diane, Rice's attorney has said his client has taken full responsibility for the crash and has been cooperative with authorities. But Dallas police have decided on charges that could change the trajectory of Rice's career, especially that aggravated assault charge, which carries a maximum of a 20-year sentence if convicted. Now, we reached out to the other driver, Theodore Knox. No response. Diane. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman, thank you. And let's bring in ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer for more on this. Brian, these are some serious charges. What's at stake for Rice here? Yeah, Diane, they are serious charges. And I know Matt Gutman focused on the maximum penalty in that aggravated assault, as well as the potential for the collision involving serious bodily injury. But there are minimums there as well. There are a minimum of two years uh, in prison for those charges. And so I think the attorneys right now are trying to negotiate what happens next in terms of surrendering himself, getting a bond amount so he can be out, but also negotiating a potential plea deal that doesn't involve a mandatory jail sentence. Now, Brian, he's not only being accused of causing the crash, at least partially, but also for leaving the scene. How could that impact this case? Yeah, it's going to be one of those aggravating circumstances because it's not just the injury, but also kind of the salt and the wound of not making sure that those that were uh, in that crash were not injured. As we heard, there was a young child in the back of one of those cars. And that's something that prosecutors are going to be contemplating uh, from a criminal standpoint. But also there's potential civil liability here. And while Rice is saying he's going to take responsibility for the criminal charges, I would expect that all the occupants in these different vehicles are looking at civil remedies and potentially suing Rice and the other driver in the other vehicle. So, Brian, what happens next here? Yeah, so next we know that there's an arrest warrant, and so ultimately the attorney for Rice and his co-defendant are going to try to organize how to surrender uh, Rice to the authorities in a way that probably limits the amount of exposure from the media taking that kind of traditional perp walk going into the court and walking out and create a bond package where he has the ability to walk out the same day. And then from there, it's about, like, as I said earlier, trying to negotiate something without a minimum uh, jail sentence, perhaps probation, and then trying to mitigate any kind of civil damages as he is going to have to potentially plead guilty to these charges if he's saying he's taking responsibility, but also limit how much money he's going to have to pay up and any kind of civil damages. And of course, the NFL may suspend him. The Chiefs picked him in the sixth round last year. His career was just starting. This could greatly affect his career going forward. All right, ABC legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer. Thanks, Brian.